chronological order, and this would be Iraq, Afghanistan. Because again, we want to include the stories of uh, soldiers and, and what they, in their service and commemorate their service. So uh, the artifacts we have here, you know, you would think um, because it's a current conflict that these artifacts are easy to get, but they're not. Um, you know, they're not allowed to bring some of this home. They have to turn it in, it's all current gear. Uh, and luckily, we've uh, had a few people bring their things in. Uh, the man to my right over here is uh, Dan Casella. He uh, actually was one of our interns. And um, he served a tour in Iraq, uh, came to finish his education at Pitt, uh, did his internship with us, returned to Iraq knowing what we might want, and with the help of his sergeant and some other people, was able to collect some current gear and, and donate it to us. Um, we also have another uniform behind me of a Lieutenant Bosian. Uh, he he uh, brought back lots of things, including you know things you don't think about. Um, his computer that he used over there every day. Um, his iPod, which uh, both, I might add, died while they were there. They were casualties of war and sand. Um, and a piece of an IED that hit his vehicle. He was wounded with a, a piece from that blast. So these things are you know kind of immediate and and reflect um, what was going on with those guys, and including the banner you see above us too was um, a banner made uh, commemorating um, Fike and Hoover. They were two uh, young men who were best friends, were killed together uh, in Iraq, and including, uh, including the banner uh, behind me, which is a memorial to uh, two soldiers, uh, last name of Fike and Hoover, who were best friends, best buddies. They served together and unfortunately were killed together in Afghanistan. And the men in their uh, company made this banner and flew it in memorial to them uh, through the rest of their service and thought it fitting to bring here. And this is exactly what we're about. We're about memory and preserving memory. And uh, you know, even though it's current, this is going to be here for 100 years. And it's going to be meaningful. And their memories will be preserved here.